Recently, Friday Girl TV filmed our sustainable living show at Truly Living Urban Farms. After being around all those great veggies, we decided to take it a step further and actually show you how to prepare a healthy meal while still eating well. This is Atlanta, a bustling southern metropolis filled with possibilities. I'm October Rose, singer, songwriter, blogger, and your personal guide to the city I call home. Join me as I discover what life has to offer women as we strive to be a success in love, life, and business. So get ready for a wild ride. I'm October Rose, your Friday girl. Enter chef and owner of Naturi Beauty Concepts, LLC, Shelly Chapman. Shelly and I are going to spend the afternoon making delicious tofu, uncrab crab cakes, and a potato salad with a new twist using sweet and new potatoes. But first, I have to stop by my local farmer's market to get the veggies and herbs that we need to make this delicious dish. What made you say, I'm going to start a beauty and wellness company? Um, the value of owning my own time was, was top, and also the value of doing what I love. And so um, I'm a big time foodie, thank you. Mm -hmm. I love food. I always have loved food. Mm -hmm. And um, I really wanted to do something that meant something to me as well as benefit other people. Mm -hmm. So my slogan is Nourishment to Grow. Which nice. essentially is like taking care of yourself and not just nourishment in the form of food, mm -hmm. but nourishment in the form of like your spirituality and the, and the thoughts that you tell yourself and how you live your life. Mm -hmm. And then nurturing yourself by taking care. So I do a lot, I have a beauty component. I have a big thing called the kitchen chemist, which is where you take basic ingredients like garlic like, which i also use in my hair um nice it stimulates hair growth and so um you know taking this everyday things that we'll use and then nurturing our bodies with it and for me when you nourish and you nurture the end result is nothing but growth what kind of cooking do you specialize in obviously you do vegan cooking do you do uh ve vegetarian as well so i call myself a flexitarian and my cooking style flexitarian i was a vegetarian for a year mm -hmm. um and really really enjoyed the process however i do like seafood and i like mm -hmm. culture every now and then and because i do a lot of traveling and mm -hmm. international foods Indian and um, Middle Eastern are some of my favorite foods and they feature lamb and I just can't say no so, <laughs> so but I mean I also eat with in moderation right so I do a lot of flexitarian cooking with a global flair so I, I, I have what I call edible destinations okay where I take people on a journey bite by bite through their taste so buds nice so yeah. okay so flexitarian means that it's mostly uh, vegan or vegetarian but so, you will occasionally absolutely. add so, in and, some and it meat. goes both ways so it's a play on words because a lot of people get stuck on the term and my thing is eat what your body asks for. for. Listen to mm -hmm. your body. Your body won't tell you that it wants chocolate cake or steak every day. It won't, you know, because our body also is smart and it knows what it needs. But a flexitarian is essentially um, people who are vegetarian who have meat eating tendencies or meat eaters who have vegetarian tendencies. tendencies. So either way, I do it all. Vegetarian, vegan, raw vegan. As long as it's good and you want to eat Absolutely. it, she does it. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to hand you a knife. Is a common misconception about the kind of cooking you do when people think healthy, mm. they think that it doesn't taste good or that it's going to be hard for them to uh, adjust to. So, and by the way, you can go ahead and we'll just start quartering right. these into okay. cute little um, dishes. The most the common conception about cooking or about health food is that it's barley and broccoli. Wow. When they think healthy, when they think vegan, they hear vegan vegetarian, they run, oh, is that that tofu stuff? You know, and it's mentioned tofu, tofu first. <laughs> I'm like, you right. don't know more about tofu, tofu than, than I, than I do. do. Exactly. Right. And then they think that it's boring. They don't realize that right. food can come alive. And so for me, it's really important to explore international cuisine as well in other culinary cultures uh -huh. because there's, there's, so, there's so much passed down um, in terms of of what food means in terms of how food is prepared. And so when you just stick to one type, you limit yourself, right? Definitely. And now let's talk a little bit like. about your background because you have quite an extraordinary story and you didn't go to culinary school. I did not go to culinary school. So I went to Spelman undergrad and that's Spelman. I studied psychology and then I went to Harvard for my master's and um, completed it in human development and psychology. And I just knew, girl, you can tell me any different. <laughs> I was gonna be a psychologist working with women, da da da. And when I was at Harvard, 
I realized, no, not that's, so much. that's not the case. I'm not <laughs> in love with this. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I just decided, well, what do I want to do? And it hit me. I love beauty and I love food. Mm -hmm. And I love finding ways to use food for both of those purposes. It makes sense. And I, Naturi Beauty was born, and I just dedicated my life to that. And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to be a personal chef. So um, I struggled a little bit with not going to culinary mm -hmm. school because I was like, well, do I have a right to call myself a personal sure, chef? Yeah. Um, but the truth is, I do. Why? Because I said so. And I get to define who I am always. No one else has to define that for me. No degree, you know, will determine define that. And the truth are. is, when people come to me, when my clients come to me, when I present at shows and they taste my food, no one ever asks, oh my gosh, what culinary school did you go to? Right. They're like, your food is a bomb. How can I work with exactly. you? Exactly. And the proof is in, in the pudding. That's it. We had a great time preparing, cooking, and tasting the uncrab crab cakes and potato salad. Everything was definitely prepared with love, and we could taste it in every bite. Well, Shelly, we've had spent so much time together today. We had such a great time. I feel like we're family now. We are. Uh, we just... Uh, the food is done, it looks great, and we're at our favorite part, or my favorite part, which is the eating. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and just take a sample of our faux crab cake, our grab cakes, mm. and our salad. I'm just going to put it all together. Yeah, Oops, about I'm so okay. messy. Mm, this is really good stuff. And mm. A great way to be healthy and, you know, mm. and pig out at the same time. I, and <laughs> I'm also a fan of. A lot of people think when you eat healthy, you don't like to eat, but you do. And uh, absolutely, I'm definitely one of those people. So I want to thank you so much, Shelly, for being on the show today. We had a blast with you. Now, usually we end the show with a martini to toast, but mm -hmm. in keeping with our sort of natural theme, we're using sparkling apple cider, mm, but still yeah. very sexy in a martini glass. Absolutely. So here is to love, life, abundance, prosperity, and much success to you. Thank All you right. Sure. Thank you for watching Friday Girl. This has been another urban adventure. We'll see you next time. Cheers.